Now it's easier to paint the engine and engine bay while it's inside, but we're gonna go ahead and pull the engine. This will give it good even coverage, but it'll also allow us to get into every nook and cranny of the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got this strapped up, but I'm gonna grab John and we're gonna get this engine pulled. We're going to paint our engine block with VHT's gloss yellow engine enamel, but before we can get started, we need to make sure that our engine block is nice and prepped and ready for a fresh coat of paint. To do that, we're going to want to sand down the areas where there's some light rust and make sure that anywhere there's any chipping, we get those nice and smooth to give it a fresh coat of paint. Once we have the area properly prepped, we'll go to our VHT gray primer engine enamel, we'll lay that down and then we'll lay on our gloss yellow engine enamel. So we want to make sure we get rid of the areas with loose rust and also any areas where there's engine enamel placed. We want to make sure we give it a light scuff with our scuff pad. So a wire brush will also take care of any loose paint that needs to come off. So we use our wire brush and our scuff pad and we removed any loose rust and uh, chips of paint here. We got the surface as smooth as we can and now we're going to hit it with our prep spray and that'll give it a nice uh, clean surface to put our primer down on. To so use your prep spray, we want to spray it on liberally, and then we want to go back and wipe off the wet surfaces to make sure it's nice and dry to be ready for a fresh coat of paint. So since we have some bare metal and some of the paint from the previous projects on there, we're going to go ahead and use our VHD Engine Enamel on a light gray primer. This will allow it to give it a nice smooth surface for us to paint over with our yellow. Let's go ahead and get started. For even coverage, you want to make sure you apply it in a sweeping motion, holding it about 8 to 10 inches away from the surface. And for the nooks and crannies, you don't want to spray it too heavy in there because you'll get spots where it'll run. So make sure to still continue that even sweeping motion in an up and down manner to get into some of those hard to reach areas. So our primer's been drying for about an hour now, and it's dry to touch as you can see here. So we're going to go ahead and lay down our color coat, which will be a nice gloss yellow. When applying this one, the same rules apply as our primer. We'll do two light coats followed by a medium coat, and we'll wait 10 minutes in between each coat. So VHT's engine enamel withstands temperatures up to 550 degrees, but it's also great for high temperature and also high performance. It's also great to customize, restore, and protect your engine block. All right, so we're finishing up our medium coat, our last coat. We went through about two and a half cans, and you can see for a yellow and a big block engine, it covered pretty well, and I'm pretty happy with the way this yellow looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cure overnight, and then I'll start putting some of the other pieces back on. With the engine out, it's now time to get started on painting our engine bay. To do that, we're going to use our roll bar and chassis paint in the gloss black. But before we can begin any of that, John's going to go through some of the prep work that needs to be completed. Now for its age, this engine bay is actually in pretty good shape, but we've got a little bit of rust and some loose paint, so we're going to hit that with a wire brush and knock that all down, and then come back with some Dupacolor cleaning products and get it good and clean and ready for painting. Our sanding and using our prep spray. Now we have some areas where there's a little bit of rust that's left behind. We're not going to be able to solve that, but we can stop it from spreading using our VHT rust converter. The other good part about that is that once we spray the rust converter, it'll be a nice primed surface that we can be ready to paint on. There's some other areas where there's some bare metal, like here and on the front, 
that's where we're going to use our VHT self-etch primer. Our self-etch primer will work great for adhesion to bare metal and it'll give it a great prime surface that we can paint on. To apply a VHT's rust converter, you want to apply two to three light coats with no more than two minutes in between. Make sure to hold that about eight to ten inches away from the surface when spraying. Once it's converted, you'll notice that the surface turns black. That means you have a nice prime surface that's ready to be painted with your top coat. The VHT self etch spray is great for bare metal. It'll give it maximum adhesion to allow for a great smooth looking top coat and it'll also be corrosion resistant. Remember when you apply it, if you apply two light coats, it'll avoid runs and sags, but the VHT self etch will be dry to touch in about 10 minutes. So we've taken care of our rust, we've sanded the engine bay. Any areas where there was bare metal, we used our VHT self etch primer. And then we've also completed the taping. One thing we wanted to note was we taped off the areas where the AC and the cooling are. And then also, we taped off any areas where we don't want the engine bay to show where the top coat paint will be. Now that we're properly prepped and scuffed, we're ready to paint the engine bay with our roll bar and chassis paint. So to apply our roll bar and chassis paint, this is a self-priming formula. So you want to apply two to three coats, light coats first, with about 10 minutes in between coats, and then make sure all coats are down within one hour. So I laid down three coats of paint, the two light coats followed by one medium coat, and all in all I went through about two cans of our VHT roll bar and chassis paint. Now the gloss black is looking great, but it's also protected. From chemicals, rust, and corrosion, we're going to let it dry about 24 hours, and then we'll go ahead and work on putting our engine back in. So we used our roll bar and chassis paint on our engine bay, but there's plenty of other applications that are great for roll bar and chassis paint. Show us what you can do on our Facebook page, and stay tuned as we continue to work on our 1972 Plymouth Satellite.